Hey guys, so today I want to make a quick little size comparison video here uh, with my S4, my S4 mini and also my Galaxy Note 2 that, that's probably going to be replaced very, very soon here with the new Galaxy Note 3 and then the Galaxy Mega. So there are three phones here that are new for this year of course, the S4 mini, the S4 and the Galaxy Mega 6.3 and soon the lineup will be finalized with the new Note phone. So this is of course the old phone from 2012, still a very very capable device of course, I use it as my main phone, uh, another one of these Note 2s. Uh, and then I also use the Zero Lemon super huge 9000 milliamp battery to my Note and I use that one uh, as a daily driver and I might go with the Note 3 uh, later now when it's going to arrive and it's probably also of course going to have the same form factor as the Galaxy Mega 6.3 and the Galaxy S4 and also the S4 Mini so uh, these are really really two amazing phones at the moment I mean first of all uh, the uh, this uh, one it has the same size as the Galaxy S2 uh, but it feels a little bit better because it's just so slim on the sides so you can see how amazing it feels like and then of course we do have my Galaxy S4 which also of course feels a little bit bigger in terms of its size uh, but still <laughs> Not big at all. I mean, I don't have super big hands, uh, but you, you kind of get used to this. I mean, it's not super big. And uh, definitely the better form factor compared to last year. It, it has this kind of a side here, which is kind of fat. I do enjoy that. So I don't have super big hands, but it still feels just, just normal. And then, of course, we do have the bigger boy here. Uh, which is thicker uh, than the S4 and definitely I do hope that the next generation Note will be a little bit thinner and also has the kind of same design as the Mega, the S4 and S4 Mini on the sides because you can see this last generation is a little bit more curved and uh, I, I do believe that the next generation uh, will have the next Note is going to definitely have to share the same kind of aesthetics as these devices uh, because it's kind of funny here with the super huge Mega 6.3 um, I mean this one when I hold in my hand I mean definitely feels better than the first generation Note uh, which uh, is super awesome because it's not as wide uh, they have optimized the buttons and everything so uh, even though I have to change how I hold the device uh, it's still not super bad and I don't have super big hands, but I have to change a little bit in how I hold it. Uh, and then when we come to the baby, big boy here, uh, I mean, sure, it's very, very big, uh, and you have to move your hands a little bit more on the back side, but the thing is that it's super thin, uh, and uh, just because it shares this kind of design as the S4, it doesn't feel too big, or I mean, you, sh you can still use this device. Yes, it's 6.3 inch, but you can still have it in your pocket, and of course, many times, most of the times you're going to use two hands when you type, uh, which of course would be pretty cool. And uh, you can see here, like, I have to move my hands up a little bit here, I have to go to the settings. But I mean, you can definitely get used to it. Uh, it's definitely not super bad. And of course, the gaming performance, the experience when you uh, do web search and everything will be totally amazing. But uh yeah it might look a little bit weird when you talk to someone but um we're getting more and more bigger phones here probably the next generation note will be a little bit bigger uh you know, at least a display uh hopefully not form factor wise than the note 2 so just quickly a video here uh this one is definitely my favorite mid-range phone right now because it's so 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 slim and it doesn't feel like an s4 mini uh compared to last generation s3 mini that didn't really feel like a in mini and galaxy s3 because it was just so so fat so just a quick video